what I see is that they're trauma victims. Mm. And, and when you call somebody an addict, <clears throat> it's an insult. Well, you're labeling uh, them, right? Is there psychology under that? Exactly. That. So that they're not born that way. They might have some abnormal uh, brain function because of their experiences <clears throat> and their behaviors. But I don't believe that there's a brain primary cause for addiction. I'm convinced of that because everybody that I've treated over the decades with addiction has uh, had profound uh, trauma, often trauma that is not understood, not recognized, denied. Uh, and the, so the trauma doesn't have to be a molestation or a rape or a bludgeoning or a war. It can be a, a, a rejecting father or mother, which <clears throat> then leads to poor performance in school. If a child is told that they're never going to succeed, they believe that, and it makes it harder for them to function in school. And the teacher gets angry with them, and then the, the other students look down on them, and they wind up in a group of similarly troubled individuals 